Yeah, it's me. Okay. You're right. But, All right, Jared, um, what, what, what do you have to say? What do I have to say? Wow. Um, I have a lot to say, but I'll make it real quick and brief. Uh, this subject is something that, as you said, it, you, you don't hear about it in the church. Uh, from the people that I've counseled, from being on the other side of the foot and being the one receiving the counseling, there's not enough ministry outreaches for this. I mean, now we have Dirty Girls Ministries talking to the girls about problems of masturbation. Uh, there's a couple out for the guys. You're starting to hear about uh, uh, different uh, software like Covenant Eyes and different things, but it's not talked about at a regular base. Like right here in southern Ohio, there isn't anything for anyone to do, and a lot of the hospitals don't even have a program, much less an outreach ministry that can come in when someone does get molested. In fact, they ran yeah. out of funding here in town, and there's only four people reach a 150-mile radius for any call, any time during the week, whenever there's a case that occurs. And it's just so creepy, especially here with the drug problem, and the sex issue stuff going on, it's all hand in hand. It's just out of control, and there needs to be more people standing up and wanting to stand in the gap to do this stuff. But I think one of the reasons why we're not seeing a lot of ministry doing this, because I think there's a lot of people out there that are struggling with something and are part of the problem. Further south here in Ohio, um, there's ministries that are being shut down because they're part of the problem. They're molesting their, their youth. The youth pastors are molesting the kids, and, and pastors are molesting other people, and so on and so forth. This has to stop. There needs to be more transparency and more accountability. Yeah, Facebook, MySpace, Twitter, all these sites are completely tracked. Anything you upload, anything you send, share, so on and so forth, it's, there's no reason why you can't do a keylogger where everything is posted based on words and based on things that you do. There's no reason why this shouldn't exist. I mean, we got it in China and other countries can have stuff blocked. We don't do it in the United States. I think it's a double standard. Yeah, you know what? I, I'm going to tell you, Block Talk Radio, it took me about 10 minutes to post my show because I had written this description and it kept coming up this morning that some people would be offended by these words. Mm -hmm. Words like homosexuality, words like uh, sodomy, uh, and some other words related to this, I got so ticked off because it was taking me forever to, to write my description. So if a talk can censor a word, yeah. you know, you would think, not only that, but I also want to tell you, I haven't gotten real bad feedback from you, but I just want to tell you, most therapists are not even trained sufficiently to deal with this issue. I mean, no, no, you know, they're, they're not. Years, like I said, down here in southern Ohio, there isn't even a sexual assault uh, counselor, much less one on duty at an ER. Right, right. And, you know, you go to bigger cities like Columbus and Cleveland, and even when I was in California, good grief, they had somebody from the from the psych ward somewhere that could be available here. No. So we're not having it medically. We're not having it, um, I mean, I'm, a, I'm about to get my associate in computer science. I know how to do all this stuff. It's so simple. All you got to do is you log into a site and you put these words in and hit save. You know, how do you find out the least of words? You should have open dialogue with the FBI, the CIA, and everyone else that's involved with uh, sex trafficking and say, what are the key terms that are hot right now? And put them in there and block it. Don't even let them use the words. Of course, I know the argument is they'll come up with new words. So what? At least you stop something. Well, you, you know, one of, one of, I'm just going to say, one of the things in, in Chelsea's article, did you guys read it? Mm -hmm. Pedo Bear. They actually yeah. have a, a picture of a, of a bear, and they nicknamed it Pedal Bear, and they put it in these pictures so that they can identify it. So you don't even need words. It's just a stupid thing. Exactly. It's, uh, it's, it's just a way. Yeah, it, it, it is totally sick because what makes me more sick is not just the pedophiles, what they're doing. It's the fact that we're sitting here with the capability, the technology, and the funding to take a massive bite out of this problem, and we're not using it. And then we have all these different agencies, and I've been working with different federal government agencies here in Ohio, and the biggest issue is, is there's lack of communication, lack of sharing information and getting things done. And I, and from some of the other agencies I've been involved with in the past six, seven years that have dealt with sex trafficking, they're seeing the same thing too. And, so, yeah, yeah, isn't that why we have the Patriot Act? I mean, uh, I'd say that tongue-in-cheek, but yeah, well, that's kind of why we have the Patriot Act, right? So yeah, well, they could communicate clearly through, through different organizations. Well, there's higher priorities, of course, like, uh, you know, keeping track of domestic terrorists. Yeah, like Christians. Yeah, Ron Paul supporters, uh, <laughs> veterans, and right. 
Oh my God. Uh, NRA supporters. Yeah, yeah, it's weird. We can we can block YouTube YouTube channels like Car Gallops can get deleted, but we can't stop child porn. I just don't understand the logic in that. You know, right. it's just, it, it makes me mad. And that's why I'm taking steps to, you know, confront. I'm confronting these different agencies and different people that I meet throughout my 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 lifestyle, and I'm seeing people add me on Facebook, and I'm starting the dialogue, and we're still back at square one. I said, you guys need to get together. And come up with a legitimate plan, and we can stop this. Because I mean, yeah, the stock. I wouldn't put any stock in Facebook right now. Yeah, let me ask you something. Are you available tomorrow? Because Chelsea has time to do an interview tomorrow. I told her about you. Yeah, sure. Okay, I'll email you her info, so you can get in touch with her and do an interview with her tomorrow. Um, and you know that tells me everybody. I I don't know how they're booking interviews, but I know she's getting a lot of interviews, but she's not getting enough. All right, All right. Who, who wants, you know, Christian radio is large, by and large entertainment and fluff, occasionally a, a sermon, depending on where you go. They don't want to necessarily talk about this issue for one day or an hour. It's difficult, you know? So um, I will email you off air, Jeremy. i got to go, though, because our time's almost up. All right, sounds good. Fabulous. Thanks for calling in. You're welcome.